Okay, in this exercise we're covering pie charts. Uh, we've got the fun.xlsx file open and I'm going to select range A3 to B8. All right, notice we're not selecting the total assets. All right, now after selecting that, we've got to go up to the insert tab and over to pie charts. The drop down menu shows up and we have a choice between two dimensional pie charts and three dimensional pie charts. I'll go ahead and choose the three dim dimensional pie chart. What I like to do right off the bat is move this chart to a different sheet. We'll call it pie chart. And notice when I hit the enter key here, we've got a new sheet and we've got a couple of options. All right, we can resize our legend on the right hand side. We can go to the home tab and maybe make that text a little bit bigger. We can also do a lot of different things with the pie chart itself. Uh, I can go ahead and click on one piece of the pie, maybe the purple piece, the green piece, the larger piece, and uh, modify a couple of things. I can change the uh, color, perhaps. Uh, I might want to change the color of the large piece of the pie. Okay, now also notice that up here in the upper right hand corner in the chart tools section, we now have some options. All right, we've got the design section, which we can change a bunch of different uh, layouts here. Let's just say I want that one right there. Uh, so that's one option. Now in the layout tab, we've got a bunch of options as well. We've got 3D rotation. All right, and let me scroll over, move this over to the right here. We can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. We can also adjust the level of three dimension that exists. We can also adjust the perspective as well. Okay. Um, in the format tab, we've also got a couple of options as well in the shape styles, word styles, and arrange. So once you're done, and, and I should add one more thing, right click down to add data labels. And you'll notice that it adds the labels right off the bat. I can right click again, jump down to format data labels. And instead of value, I can show percentage, which might be more appropriate in this case. Since it is a pie chart, I can uh, make the text a little bit bigger. As I move these away, you just get it right on the, uh, the edge here. You'll notice that there's a leader line coming out of it. So a lot of options in regards to pie charts in Excel 2007.